Today we're going to go over some new line board basics. First is screen share. That's this top one right here. Um, for screen share, it is only meant to send documents to show students real quick things on the screen. It's not meant to show an entire video uh, simply because the Wi-Fi bandwidth just doesn't allow it. It gets really glitchy. So if you're going to do screen share, it will give you the website to go to and then your session ID. As of right this second, this is what we recommend. The app on your computer works sometimes, but with some of the updates, it didn't quite get updated. So go to the website, type in the session ID, put in a name, and then you can share your screen. Helpful hint, it shows everything on your computer screen on the board. So be careful what you have on your computer screen. Second, we're gonna go to the whiteboard. The whiteboard, you can hit home right here and then go to whiteboard, which is right here, or you can just hit the pencil on the side of the screen. Either way works. Now, whiteboard, you have two options. You can use the new version or you can use the classic version. It's completely up to you. It honestly doesn't matter which one. Um, quick thing, in the settings, you will wanna change it so you can write with your pen and your fingers just in case your pen goes missing. All right, so you have your pen right here, and you can change the color. You can also change the thickness. You have your highlighter here. You can put in shapes here and fill them with whichever color. The lasso, I recently learned, is whenever you run out of space on your board, on your smart board, you would hit extend screen. On here, you just draw a lasso around it and make it smaller. So I'll demonstrate. So four plus, that's a plus, four equals eight, and then I need to do more down here, but I ran out of room. So I would lasso it, make it smaller, so that I can continue writing. And that's the lasso. Then you have your eraser. You can clear your screen, or you can undo that. Either way. If you need to add another page, you're gonna hold this down, you can change the color, or you can add in a pattern or you can do both. So if you want handwriting paper that's dark gray, you can do that. Okay, so those are basics of the whiteboard. There's a couple other extra tools in there, but for now, that's fine. Now we need to go to our browser. Now your browser is your internet in the board. You don't have to hook your computer to it. It is internet on the board. So right now your browser might be the default browser. It might be Chrome, it might be Chromium. I don't know. I suggest Firefox. We've had the best luck this year with Firefox. Again, as updates come through, that might change. But for Firefox, if it's not on here already, you can just click add, click the tic-tac-toe board, and swipe until you see Firefox. Once you get the check mark, you should be good to go. It should add over here. So you're gonna click Firefox. It's going to open in its normal Firefox whatever. And then you can go to Google. You can sign in in the top right corner to your Google account. You can go to ClassLink, Canvas, HMH, Savvis, whatever you need to go to, all on your board. Couple of like helpful things. If you need to share a video on the board and it's not coming up on here and it's not working properly, then we suggest plugging your computer into the board, um, kind of like you would your smart board. So the idea is, you would plug the H HDMI right here in the front, plug your USB into the USB touch slot, and then make sure that they are plugged into your teacher laptop in the right place. So HDMI and USB. This will allow whatever's on your computer to show up on the board, and it also allows you to touch on the board and open what's on your computer. So that's what we recommend. Please know that as things change and updates come through, we might redo these um, just because things change. Uh, technology gets updated and there might be things that change for your board. So I know we change things. I know that teachers get frustrated because screen share used to work with certain things and now it's not. That's because things update and we do our best to try to keep you um, updated on all the communication. Um, but please have some grace with us. We're doing our best.